Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing a can of water. This is from cannedwaterforkids.org. And the reason it's .org and not .com is because this is a charity. Uh, this charity is from Wisconsin, and for every can of this water that you purchase, it helps bring fresh water to people without it all over the world. 95% um, of their sales goes back into um, helping people. First of all, 95% is a huge percentage to give back to people. There are some other charities I looked up, like Kids Wish Network. They only give 2.5% of the money back into the actual charity. Or the Cancer Fund of America, they only give 1% of the money back into the actual cause. Or the Breast Cancer Relief Foundation, they give less than 3% back into the actual cause. So 95% goes back into the cause with this, with this charity. That's a huge percentage compared to other ones. And so they give... A lot of the money goes to Engineers Without Borders, which helps bring wells to Africa and helps just teaching people in Africa how to, how to sanitize their water and a lot of plumbing and lots of stuff like that going on in Africa and, and around the world to bring them fresh water. They also do a lot of work where after disasters they send crates of this water and um, just tons of cases of this water to them directly. Like after the disaster in Japan, they sent crates. Um, the, what's going on in Flint, Michigan right now, where they have lead in their water, they sent a lot of cases up there just r right away after, um, after that started happening. And after the hurricane in New, New Jersey, they sent some cases there. And just Haiti also, and also... Lots of disasters all over the world. They, um, they they do a lot of helping out, and so this is kind of an expensive water to be honest. A twenty four pack of these cans shipped to me would be about forty five dollars, but you shouldn't think of it as just buying a case of water, because you know that forty five dollars is going to help people. So don't think of it as just buying water. Think of it as actually giving to a charity and um, and helping people. And I think a cool thing that they do is they put their tax returns right on the website, their yearly tax returns, just right on their homepage. Uh, there's a link to it. And so you can look up all their finances and actually see where the money that you give them goes. And if you don't want to even pay the money to have this shipped to you, if you don't even want the water... You can just give them a donation directly if you're interested in doing that. Um, they gave me this fact sheet also. Just facts about water and um, how much they help people. And a thing on it that stuck out to me is it says that every eight seconds a child dies from having unsafe drinking water or not having access to water at all. So every eight seconds, just think about that. Like if, if there's a terrorist attack, you know, people and the government spend millions and billions and trillions of dollars because a couple people have died. But just think about that. Every eight seconds, someone dies from a lack of water. Um, you know, you can easily save some lives with a, with a small donation. And so the water... The company is from Wisconsin. The water itself is from Minnesota. They get it from a 300-year-old glacier. And let's go ahead and taste the water itself. They gave me two of these cans and one of these cans with, with a twist-off cap. Um, I've never had canned water before. I've been doing some research, and apparently Dasani used to have canned water but they stopped doing that. And so one thing I'm curious about is when I pull the tab, is it gonna is it gonna make that noise or is that just from a uh, carbonated uh, can of water? So here we go. Here we're gonna find out right now. Yeah, it still had it still had the the noise of 
the air on top escaping. So it smells pretty good. I had a few a few weeks ago. I had emer emergency canned water, and it didn't taste very good. It tasted like metal. So I'm hoping this is better. I'm hoping this does not taste like metal. So let's find out. No, this does not t taste like metal. Hmm. Actually, actually, a little bit of an aftertaste of metal, a tiny bit, but nowhere near, nowhere near as much as that emergency water that I had a few weeks ago. Yeah, there is there is a slight aftertaste of metal, just just a tiny, tiny bit, but again, it's nowhere near as bad as um, that emergency water I had before. So I'm going to test this out, this bottle with a lid. Because one thing I'm curious about is with these cans, the problem is after you open it, you can't reseal it. Excuse me. So one thing I'm curious about is once I open this, if, if I drink half of it, am I going to be able to reseal it with this lid? I really don't know the answer to that, so. Mm. Good. Good water. So yes, there's no water coming out. It is sealable. So if you, if you complain about aluminum cans not being sealable, here's your solution. This is another type of bottle they sell on their website. A very, I will be honest, there is a very slight taste of metal, but um, still pretty good water, though. And I think it's just cool, cool that it's in an aluminum can. Like, I've never seen this before, it's just pretty neat. I'm sort of curious why other water bottling companies don't use cans. Um, another thing they put, point out on the website is that um, they, they say in some ways uh, aluminum cans are better for the environment because they're a little bit easier to recycle and um, a higher percentage of aluminum cans are recycled than plastic bottles and they, they list a few different ways that it's better for the environment overall. Um, so if you're interested in this, if you're interested in buying some of this or just donating, check out their website. I'm going to give them a thumbs up for the, for the taste. And um, that's it. Thanks for watching.